Mina fam. I'm so sorry I'm late getting this video up, but here I am today. Welcome to my channel for the December Cow Pals video. December 2021, that is. We're already to the end of the year, and I'm so excited to show off to you guys what we're working on over in Cow Pals and what our chosen patterns are for the month. But this video is going to be a little bit different because right at the beginning here, I'm actually going to show you guys what all of the Cow Pals members worked on and completed last month for the Woodland Creatures theme, including what I made. So I'm so excited to do this because everybody has worked so hard and made such beautiful projects. They do the most incredible things every month and I'm so excited to finally be able to compile them in one place and show them off to the world. So regardless if you are a pal, if you're a Cow Pals member or you're just watching this because it's interesting to you, uh, I'm just, I'm excited to show off what we worked on and what we completed last month as well as tell you what we got going on this month in the month of December. If you're new here, hi, I'm Em. My channel is all about crafts and I talk about my small business that I run over at munamade.com from time to time and we just geek out over crafting here. So if that sounds like your jam, join us, hit that subscribe button. If you have never ever heard about Cow Pals and you don't know what it is, well, too bad, so sad. I'm just kidding. I'll tell you about it. Um, in the November Cow Pals video, I explained it all in detail, but basically Cow Pals is a discord server. Um, and it is a collection of chat rooms all about crocheting and specifically we're all pretty into crocheting amigurumi. Every single month we have a theme and the other admins and I get together and choose a little collection, a variety of patterns including usually one free, one paid, and then something that is maybe a little outside of the amigurumi box just in case you're burnt out on making those crochet plushies. So even though we give those selected patterns every month, you're free to make whatever you want according to the theme. We just like to give a little bit of direction so uh, everybody is working on the same thing together and uh, give some criteria for entering our giveaway each month. Yes, we give away free stuff, so. That's pretty cool. If you are not already a part of Cal Pals, everyone is welcome of all skill levels. All that we ask is that you're interested in crochet and you like to make amigurumi. Um, but even if you don't make amigurumi, uh, we have other projects for you as well. So if you crochet at any skill level, you are more than welcome to join us in the Discord. There is no requirement that you have to participate every single month. Uh, you can be a silent lurker, I guess, if you wish, but it's more fun if you participate. So the link will be in the description below and I hope to see some new members join this month. Last month's theme was woodland creatures and we had a very adorable variety of patterns for all the pals to make. I ended up making, just like I said I would at the end of the last video, and I did this so last minute. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I always wait until the very last day of the month to finish my Cow Pals projects. That is just who I am. I am just a procrastinator. But I ended up making the Fox Pumpkin! Oh my goodness! Isn't she so cute? I love it! I love it so much. And this is rare but I think I'm gonna keep this one for myself. Most of the things that I crochet and make, I end up selling because that's just what I do for a living. But on occasion, I love something so much that I can't give it away. I'm gonna keep it for myself. So I'm gonna keep this one for myself and I'm definitely gonna be decorating my home with her next year, but so, so cute. I love how it turned out. This was made from a pattern from Winding Road Crochet. It is free on their blog. And I just did some felt detailing on the eyes here and I made these cute little kawaii eyelashes and uh, did her that way. The yarn that I used is mostly I love this yarn that's my favorite yarn. I love that yarn. It's so good. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it is a Hobby Lobby exclusive brand. It is my favorite. I didn't make any adjustments. A lot of times on Cal Pals patterns, I'll make adjustments and little customizations here and there, but the pattern was great. It was great. I'm a very visual person, and so I really would have liked to have a visual chart when doing this color work because it's worked like this back and forth, and you change colors to do the white, 
and then you change colors to do the orange and you like keep going and changing colors in each row so you're changing colors every single row and it was very hard for me to like read all those numbers and keep track of what the heck I was doing I might have even I don't know if I have my count completely right but it looks good to me I would have preferred to have a visual chart and maybe that's included if you buy the paid version on Etsy I'm not sure but that would have just been so much greater for me and my brain that just cannot retain information for more than like two seconds so I am a very visual person and I would have loved a chart but nonetheless the pattern was great and I was able to make this adorable pumpkin I love her so I'm gonna shut up and <laughs> show you guys what other people in Cal Pals made because we had more than just that pattern I know a few people did the little foxy pumpkin along with me. Um, oh, one person did it in variegated yarn, and so it looks really cool. I do know the deer doll was quite popular. She was adorable, but I was way too intimidated of, like, how big of a project that would be to do that one. Although, to be fair, the pumpkin one did come out uh, larger than I thought as well. But, nonetheless, um, the little badger, is is that a badger? I don't know. I forgot what animal that was. <laughs> but uh, the little badger, um, the paid pattern, a lot of people did that one. I don't know. We had a really good, really good variety. I was also surprised to see people do the owl pumpkin along with it. But, um yeah you guys did a great job oh my gosh there's also a deer doll with a christmas dress <laughs> oh my god chef's kiss this is so cute you guys are so freaking talented and i am always always inspired every single month when we do these projects if you're not a cow pal totally cool like it's all good just observe I, you know, I know there's like, um, a lot of friends that I have that watch this channel, a lot of people in the Munifam that may do other fiber arts, you know, like knitting or sewing, and, uh, they just have a general appreciation for this kind of artwork. So it's totally cool if you're not a Cow Pal member, if you're not a pal, you're, um, you know, just, just a pal's pal. You're, you're the, you're a pal of the pals. Love it. Cool great. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun taking a look at what other Cal Pal members made in the month of November, but it's time to tell you guys if you have not already seen it in the Discord because this video is very late in the month, but we're just going to pretend that it's not. It's time to tell you guys what the theme is for December 2021. It is... Gingerbread! So obviously December is the month of Christmas and everybody wants to go Christmas crazy and make all the Christmas things, but we wanted to narrow that down a little bit and we found a bunch of cute gingerbread type patterns to show to you guys. So first and foremost, when you think gingerbread, of course, we all think of the classic gingerbread houses that we all make this time of year. A lot of people like to have competitions with each other and make these houses, but the problem is, is that it's made out of food and it's not even good food, so it's not even that you can eat it and enjoy it. It's just like this rip-off cardboard stuff <laughs> and you only get to enjoy, enjoy it for a short amount of time before you have to throw it away and then you don't have it for next year. So why not make one out of yarn? Yeah. We found some really incredible patterns for little cute gingerbread houses and these are highly customizable because obviously everyone's going to decorate their gingerbread house differently. And what's more, you when you think of crochet, you need you need something inside of the the crocheted pieces to support it and make, you know, a, a sturdy house. And I don't know about you guys, but it would be pretty annoying and put me off if I had to go measure cardboard and cut it out and build my own little box to put the crochet pieces over. So we found these adorable patterns where you use square tissue boxes. Genius! Not only um, can these boxes support your gingerbread house, it can also just be a tissue box cover so people pull tissues up out of the chimney oh my god have you ever heard of a better idea if you don't want to use it as you know a cover of the actual tissue box with tissues in it you could just sew it up and just use an empty tissue box 
to support it. And then you don't got to go out and cut all the pieces of cardboard and glue them together and all of that. You don't have to do all that extra work. You just got to find an empty tissue box laying around. So we found two patterns that we thought were really good to share with you guys. One of them is free. Um, so you can take that and just do what you will. It is available and it is free and it is by Nikki's Homemade Crafts. So you can find this one on Nikki's Homemade Crafts blog. And I really encourage you guys when you're making this to just be as creative as possible, right? Like when you're making actual gingerbread houses, you just kind of, you know, do whatever tickles your fancy and I encourage you guys to do the same and like I said you can either use it as a tissue box cover and actually put tissues in it or you could just sew it closed and use it as a reusable decoration that you can put up in your home year after year so the free one is by Nikki's homemade crafts and then we did also find a paid one that I just thought was too good not to include it is so cute and it is by the one, the only, Twinkie Chan. Twinkie Chan has such a cutesy, wonderful style. You guys know me and my colorful self uh, loves Twinkie Chan stuff. So this was just too good not to include. This one is paid on Twinkie Chan's Etsy shop. You can get it for $4.50. If you would like, you could purchase this one and then also maybe look at the free one a bit and uh, do a little bit of a, a, a mashup and make your own unique gingerbread house they're both designed to fit over a square tissue box so yeah you could use aspects of both and just let your creativity run wild I cannot wait to see what you guys make but these are quite large projects I would say they're they're a little bit more time consuming than maybe some things that we normally uh, give to you in Cal Pals and uh, so maybe maybe you're a little busy this holiday season and you would like to work on something else. No worries. When you think of gingerbread, the theme of gingerbread, I'm sure that the first thing that comes to your mind is the gingerbread houses. But there's a lot of other really cute gingerbread patterns out there. And we had to narrow it down. It's so hard. But we found these adorable gingerbread kitties for you guys to make. So this is a classic amigurumi for all of you amigurumi heads. Ami heads? What is the name for somebody who is just like obsessed with making amigurumi? Do we have a name for that? Because uh, we need one. Uh, so for all you amigurumi heads out there. <laughs> we found this adorable little pair of gingerbread kitties for you guys to make. These are so cute. I literally cannot resist these. Um, this is a paid pattern as well by My Alpaca Studio on Etsy and you can purchase it for $5.85. But hey, look out for a sale. If you put these items, if you favorite them and put them like in your list on Etsy, I'm pretty sure Etsy will email you. Also, you'll get a little notification um, in the top when those items go on sale and you never know a lot of pattern designers put their stuff on sale a lot especially probably closer to the end of December when you know less people are purchasing them get them on sale but these kitties are so cute you don't have to make both to enter the giveaway you can just make one of them whichever one is your favorite but uh you know if you make one like it needs a friend, so why not make both? And last but not least, for everyone out there who maybe wants something that is not so time intensive and is also not an amigurumi, because we all know that amigurumi can be a little bit more on the difficult side, we found this really cute gingerbread belly flatware holder. It is a free crochet pattern by Blackstone Designs and you can find it for free over on their blog. It's a very simple crochet project and a very beginner friendly. If you're brand new to crochet, uh, it would be really a great item for you to make and learn with this holiday season and we chose this one with in mind that maybe a lot of you guys are having big dinner gatherings at your home or you're going somewhere and having a nice family dinner and maybe you could make these as little play sets you know for your family they're so cute and it, they're designed to hold your silverware but as a bonus 
you could put your crochet hooks in them too and it's just like a cute little pouch for your crochet hooks so um we just thought this was really cute and simple as well so if you guys want to do something that is a little bit more on the quick side and still be able to enter the giveaway for this month this is your project. As always, you must do one of the suggested projects to be able to enter our giveaways each month. We encourage you guys to make whatever you want under the gingerbread umbrella and share it with us, but we have pre-selected a little group of patterns for you guys just to give some direction as well as give you guys some criteria to enter in this month's giveaway. So to enter in the giveaway, you must make either one gingerbread house uh, slash Kleenex cover. Do your Kleenexes really need to be covered? I guess that's just like a really granny thing to do. I love embracing my inner granny. Or one uh, gingerbread kitty amigurumi or one flatware holder. You can make either of those three options and we have four different patterns that we have uh, selected for you to choose from with a variety of free and paid for your convenience but you must do one of those and then post a picture on a social media of your choice and enter the giveaway using our giveaway form that we post on discord which brings me to my next point you might be wondering what are we giving away this month so a amazing pattern designer by the name of stitch by Faye has ever so graciously sponsored this month's giveaway stitch by Faye has so many cute patterns over on her etsy shop and a lot of them are christmas and holiday and winter themed as well so i know you guys will find something that you absolutely love over in her shop and she is sponsoring this month's giveaway in CalPels, and the winner will get to choose any pattern of their choice out of her shop. Even if you don't enter the giveaway or if you don't win, please still do check out her shop and maybe favorite it and uh, keep an eye on it because she is a fabulous, fabulous crochet pattern designer and uh, we, we love what she has designed. So be sure to check her out, support her. You know, we love supporting other makers and uh, hopefully you guys will find something that you're excited to make. Okay, I think I got through everything that I wrote down that I wanted to talk about with you guys today. Uh, <laughs> if you wanna be featured in next month, which will be January 2022, two zero two two january 2022 if you want to be featured in next month's video at the beginning when i show all of the projects you guys made this month what you need to do for me in addition to posting on your social media to enter the giveaway is post in our finished projects chat room in the cow pals discord that lets me know that you are okay with me sharing your project and featuring it in my video anybody who posts in there it is in the rules that if you post in finished projects we can and will use your pictures and your name of course giving you credit and show off what you made so if you want the chance to be featured in next month's video, please, please, please post what you guys make this month in the finished projects tab over there. And I'll be selecting some and showing them off next time. As for me, we only have a couple weeks left of December. I've been so busy with work, which is my shop. That's my full-time job. Oh my gosh, it has been so busy. Ever since Black Friday, it has been nonstop. And I've been working so hard to get everyone's orders out but I'm planning on taking a little bit of a, of a break here um, for Christmas and for New Year's. So I think I'll have some extra time to get some good crafting time in. I just want to make everything. I just want to make everything. So uh, wish me luck. We'll see what I get done this month. And uh, yeah, I will show you guys what I made next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you're a pal, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you're planning to make. And if you're not a pal, that's cool too. Leave a comment down below and about what you think is cute. I don't know. Tell me what your favorite suggested pattern is from this month. And um, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I got to do my, my YouTuber duties here. Um, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year and it's looking like that might actually be possible. So I'm really excited for that and I hope we can make it there. Um, yeah. Thanks guys. I will talk to you whenever I talk to you. 
have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I never know how to end these things. Like, I'm just, like, so awkward. Like, what do I do? Just, just, okay, bye? Like, I don't, okay, bye. Bye.